as far as total cost of ownership, that is much lower than any diesel equipment because it got very little maintenance, obviously no fuel, and the, the ROI comes back relatively quickly. Want to put some extra horsepower behind your operations? Click the link below to subscribe to Equipment World's daily newsletter for the latest construction equipment news, trends, and reviews. So quick overview of the skid steer. So this is the Elise uh, 1200. It's got a 420 amp hour battery. We have different battery types. We have lithium or lead acid. Doesn't matter to us what goes in the machine. The machine recognizes it and it's gonna do its work. A couple of the big features, obviously sustainable, but most importantly can be used without emissions for the health and safety of the, the workers around. So you've got remote controllability in the machine, you can jump out of the cab, use a remote, jump back in, use the controls. You've got all the user platforms and, and fleet software built in, so GPS compatibility to be able to track your equipment. You've got diagnostics, so if something's going wrong with the machine, you can see that on your virtual garage. Uh, so there's a lot of features built into that. And then standard hydraulics which means you don't need to buy new attachments. You can use what you've got. And that's big for us. That's a partly sustainability thing, but it's partly usability. We don't want you to have to buy new attachments. They last a long time. Charging wise, you only need a couple 110 outlets. So you've got two 110s on different circuits. You're gonna be able to charge this machine anywhere. You could also use 220. And if you're using lithium, there's gonna be fast charging as well. So we've got a couple different units. Our highest lifting capacity is around 2,800 pounds. Our on the lower end, we got about 1,200 pounds. So three different units. All of them come with a cab or a cabinless. So you could have it where it's just remote control and all three of those units are the same. So we got a 700, a 900, and 1,200, and they have those different lifting capacities. Run times are gonna be generally the same for all of them. You wanna run a full work day. Uh, and you can charge the batteries in shorter time than it's gonna actually run. More importantly, you can hot swap the batteries in less than 10 minutes. So if you need to, you can be still running as many shifts as necessary. So the cab are all electric controls. So you've got a pin you're gonna put in and it's gonna know who you are. So it's gonna know your lights. And with that, you can program it to be the H pattern, reverse H or ISO pattern. Doesn't matter to us, it's gonna know who you are. The other thing with that is you're gonna have um, the fleet manager will have control over what kind of power usage this machine has. So if you have a beginner, you can only give you can give them just 10 or 20 percent of power usage until they're starting to learn the ropes, stop uh, bumping into things or knocking things over, uh, and then you can give them full power access after that. So there's a lot of controllability there, as well as that GPS software that's going to track what they're doing and where they are. So we do software updates pretty frequently. So we have an in-house team doing software and we can implement changes very, very quickly because we're not as large as some of the other manufacturers. We work directly, our CEO is very involved and if there's an important change that needs to be made, it can be made very quickly and the machines can be updated. The ROI comes back relatively quickly. We have a calculator where we can calculate that, where you put in how many hours a day you're intending to work, how much is fuel cost in your area, and then we can show you what the ROI is in months. That could be completely uh, reduced or um, omitted when you're talking about state or federal incentives. So we work with that and we help the dealers and the end customers. Uh, we can help them apply for the incentives. We'll help walk them through the incentive pro process. So um, a lot of that is there, but um, even without incentives, our machines make a great investment. This equipment can do a lot of great work, but there's absolutely a place where diesel can do better work, and there's a place where we will do better work. We think we need to have both options, and the project will demand what option is better. For more videos like this, click the playlist on the screen now.